Lost track of how many blisters I got. Huh? Carla, you again. Here to trade? Sure. Let's take a look. You break it, you buy it. Hey. I'm sure I have something you need. How are things going? Uh, same old, same old. Looking to buy? I've got a few minutes to browse. Let me know what you'd like. Yes? Hey there. I'm sure I've got something you need. I'll take a look, sure. Let me know what you'd like. Farming's as honest as honest work gets. Hey. I can patch you up if you need it. For a small fee, of course. Patch me up, Doc. Now, go over your symptoms for me. One at a time. Took a few bad hits recently. Got knocked around. Huh, you look fine, but... Oh, wait. Yep, that's gonna need to be set back in place. Let's get started. done. Any other complaints? No cuts or bruises or anything. Glad to hear it. Anything else? Actually, it's nothing. Fine. Come back later. Out here, you gotta take things one day at a time. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. It'll get more and more useful as we get more allied settlements. Eventually, you'll have help wherever you need it. I guess you know I'm one of the last of the Minutemen. But I never really told you what happened to us. I figured you'd tell me when you were ready. Have you heard of the... Quincy Massacre? Your group came from Quincy, didn't you? That's right. 
Mama Murphy, Sturgis, the Longs. They were all from Quincy. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? I know how it feels to be the last survivor. Yeah, I guess you do. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. I don't know the first thing about the Minutemen. That doesn't matter. The Minutemen of the last few years are gone, and nobody's gonna miss them. We don't need any more petty politics or squabbling over resources or arguing over who has seniority. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. What makes you think I can do this? You saved us and conquered. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been in mighty short supply around here for quite a while. Can you explain what the Minutemen are all about? We're citizen soldiers. The people of the Commonwealth banding together to protect ourselves and decide our own future. That was the original idea, and it was a good one. The Minutemen fell apart because our leaders forgot what we were supposed to stand for. I think you're the one who can bring the Minutemen back and bring the whole Commonwealth together. Okay. I'll do it. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen and the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. So, if I'm a general, where's my army? You're looking at it, I'm afraid. But I wasn't joking when I called you that. The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of general. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've got something a bit different for you. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Another day of hard work. It never changes. Huh? Hey, Codsworth. Mom, perhaps now would be a good time to speak? Sure. What's on your mind? So gracious, Mom. I do appreciate it. I've always had such admiration for you and your family, ever since the day my visual senses were first switched on. You and Sir, so good with young Sean, and so trusting of me to look after such a newborn bundle of joy. 
It just warms my nuclear core. So you can imagine the distress I felt when the bombs fell. After you fled to the vault. I searched but found no evidence of your death. I could only hope you all made it in time. And when you returned, I was overjoyed. I admit, I ran a full diagnostic scan just to make sure I wasn't malfunctioning. <laughs> but the news, the news of Sir and young Sean. Believe me when I say it takes a true hero to live through that. I'm just doing what it takes to survive out here. Oh, it's so much more than that, Mum. So much more. In such a bleak world as this, think of all you've witnessed and all you've done. In my 200 years, I've seen it tear good men and women apart. But you, Mum, you have remained the very model of what humanity should aspire to be. I didn't realize you felt that way, Codsworth. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything, Mum. I just felt you should know what you've come to mean to me. I truly believe if the Commonwealth is to turn itself around, you're the one to do it. Now, not another word. I stand firm in my belief. Let's get back to it. Hey. Mom? Codsworth. Here we are. Your thoughts? A fine decision, Mum. Or General, if I may. The Minutemen seem to be quite the upstanding group. Your thoughts? A man once told me to always leave them wanting more. Unfortunately, he was working at the rationing station. Nothing else for now. All right, then. Hey there. Is there something you need? How are you feeling? I'm glad to have the chance to return the favor. After all the help you gave me. Anything else? Come with me. I need your help. Sure thing, General. I think the folks here can manage on their own now. Thanks to you. Mr. Garvey, hey. I'm sure you will Do you have a moment? I wanted to thank you for helping us out in Concord. Both. Take care, Codsworth. If only we'd run into you sooner. What happened to you guys? Long story short, we've been on the move since the attack on Quincy. There used to be more of us. My son, he's... He's gone. Your son? What was his name? Kyle. My son's name was... Kyle. I understand how you feel. I lost someone too. But you and I... We're still here. Right? We have to go on. For them. Hey, Godward. Yes, sir? You never invited me over for tea. You haven't forgotten about that, have you? Uh, no, of course not, sir. I, I'm just waiting to find a free day in my schedule. Okay then, buddy. You keep doing what you're doing. Seems to be working for you. Yes, sir. Got a favor to ask you, kid. I know it's silly, but I need a chair. Something with a nicer fit for these old bones. Can you do that for me? Can't you just use any chair? The sight's been real exhausting lately. Got aches and pains. Even when I'm lying down. I know it's odd asking for a fitted chair in this day and age, but it really helped me out, kid. Sure. 
Be glad to help. Thank you. to talk too long. I should sit down. like a proper home thanks to you hey you need the site it's telling me mentats will give us the right high for another insight into your destiny so it's mentats this time they're good more of a chem for scientists and tech types but who's to say old mama murphy ain't a closet genius <laughs> You're an addict. You need help. Oh, not this again. Kid, listen to me. I'm old, even older than you'd think. If the chems are gonna kill me, then I say I've had a good run. We'd have never made it this far without the sight. We need it. You need it. It's part of who I am. Isn't there any way you could use the site without chems? Let me tell you a story, kid. Once, there was a beautiful young girl with a special power. Used to get in all kinds of crazy adventures. She meets a handsome young boy, but he doesn't like her power. Thinks it makes her a slave to something evil. And so the power goes away, and it's not there when the girl and the boy need it most. Now the boy's gone and the girl is old. But she has friends and her power keeps them safe. That's all that matters. You're right. Using chems is your choice. Damn right it is. Mama Murphy. Got some mentats for me? See where the sight takes us this time? Here you go. Ah, that's it. I can feel the sight opening up. You're looking for a man. He can help you, but he ain't gonna be the man you expect. He's somewhere deep and dark, surrounded by folks with nothing but cruel intentions. But there's an echo Something in the past that can help you. When you meet the fat man and the angry woman, tell them to remember the quarry and Lily June on the rocks, and they'll let you and your friend pass. <coughs> Don't mind me, kid. <coughs> the chems are just acting up a bit. I'll be fine. Eventually. Sure, let me just stop what I'm doing to talk to you. I'm being sarcastic. Leave me alone.
Hey. Okay, need something? Anything you want to talk about? Back before General Becker died, the Minutemen were a force to be reckoned with. What are you thinking about? I'll tell you what's wrong with the Commonwealth. People can't see the big picture. How do you feel about our relationship? I think you've got what it takes to be a great leader. But you still have to prove yourself. Oh, nothing. Okay. How you doing, buddy? Hey, boy. You know any tricks? Hey, come on. Hey. I'm listening. Moving out. This might be a good place to stop for a rest.
Here for what? Hey, we could use some help enough, stranger. if you've got some We're a peaceful farm. I'll give you caps We don't want any trouble. Me. Neither do I. Just passing through. If you say so, but be warned, we're armed here, so don't try anything. Let me tell you, farming ain't easy. Out in the field all day, every day, and every minute of it, spent watching your back. What kind of crops do you grow here? Mostly potatoes so far, but we're starting on melons. Blake Abernathy, you new to the Commonwealth? Yes. And no, it's a long story. Either way, good to see a new face. How about you? Ever think about working the land? I'll probably give it a try someday. Well, good luck to you then. Maybe I'll see you at the Diamond City Market someday and we'll do a swap. Word of advice though, if you do start up a farm, be ready to deal with the Raiders. Why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? Bastards. All of them. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. That's why we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better. Minutemen? So you know them then? You mean Any idea Preston why they Garvey's haven't been crew? around so much lately? He's over in Sanctuary, trying to rebuild the Minutemen. You don't say. That's close by. If he'd only been there earlier, Mary may still be alive. I don't have much to offer, but those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. Do you know where they're coming from? Yeah, pretty sure I do. One of them mentioned Olivia while they were here. My guess is they're holed up in that old USAF station. Truth be told, wouldn't mind if those raiders shared Mary's fate while you were at it. Blake. If I had to guess, that satellite station's northeast somewhere. At least that's the direction they headed when they left. <clears throat> I take it you want to trade? What have you got? It ain't a lot, but I've got a few basic supplies. Ammo, meds, that sort of thing. Ammo and meds? What kind of basic supplies are those? Very basic. You want to survive out here? You need ammo and meds. So, you up for a trade or not? Sounds good. How is the trade with Diamond City? Good when my husband actually gets around to doing it. That is, if no one raids the farm first. Why do you think I'm selling ammo and meds? You can't protect yourself? The Commonwealth will swallow you right up. Can't say I've been to Diamond City yet. Biggest city in the Commonwealth. Anything you need, anything you want to know, that's the place to start. I don't think so. Great. Maybe next time you can get right to the point instead of wasting my time. Miss Abernathy? Here to collect the caps for the melons you gathered? What's the pay? It's three caps for each melon you turn in. Do you want to collect your pay now? Yeah. Here you go. Great. Thanks for your help. Got no reason to trust strangers, so maybe you should be moving along.
We should get going. Opening fire. <laughs> be anything hidden in all this. Gizmo of yours is buzzing for a reason. What the hell were they thinking?
playing around with that thing. I'm sure it's not nearly as bad as it looks. Remember, I'll reward you for every hide you find. I don't have anything on me. Soon, hopefully. Well, no need to hurry. Mutations are very slow to act, so we have time. Of course, history has a long lifespan, so we don't have forever. I don't have any more questions. Understood. Thanks for helping us out with Trudy. You did good. Now, let's talk business. I'll take a look, sure. You got needs, I got product. Shop's open. What do you want? Let's see what you have. All salvage, but nothing's junk. I drink dirty radioactive water when you could have it pure and bottled. Chen Kowalski's Clean Water Market, straight from the filter. This is Johnny Mercer singing about personality. Uh, if you got it, you should appreciate it, because it's not necessarily common. Huh? 
We should get going. What the fuck was that? Listen, what the hell was that? I know you're here. Hiding from me? <laughs> Not even possible. There's something Psst. wrong here. Hold. Psst. Stay there. Okay. What am I doing? Hey, let's go. Hey, come on. I'm on it, General. Great place for an ambush. Show your face! Come on! I dare ya! Only a fucking coward hides! Come on out. I'll make it nice and quick. Oh my. Thing 
useful. Grab anything useful. Over here. Come on. Moving out. point in leaving that for the scavenger. Oh, my God. 
could hold this place against an army. Got the best armor in these parts. What kind of stuff do you have? I sell armor for Old Man Stockton's outfit, based out of Bunker Hill. Been selling armor to smart wastelanders for years. The dumb ones walk away empty-handed, but they don't stay dumb long. If you catch my meaning. That gizmo of yours is buzzing for a reason. Radiation. I'll take a look. Sure. My prices are firm. Haggling gives me a headache. Miles on the road. At least the pay is terrible.
Where are they? that is. Wait there. Heads up. Come on. I've got that locket back for you. You serious? That's great news. Connie's gonna be speechless. Whatever the Minutemen need, you can count on us. We got a decent workshop here, and Connie's sure to go leaner on her prices after what you've done. told me what you did for us, for Mary. I know it's not much, but any trading you want to do, I'll go easy on the price. Uh, let me know if there's anything you want to take a look at. 
How are you holding up? Thanks to you. Better. Mary was a good kid. She had fire in her. I can't tell you how many arguments we had. <laughs> that girl hated rules, and believe me, I had plenty. Do you regret it? All the rules? I'd say sure, but who knows? Without those rules, maybe something worse happens. The only thing I regret is not being able to save her. We knew the risks of having kids these days, and we took them. But it was worth it. I won't argue that. Anyway, enough. I'm sure you got plenty of your own thoughts to deal with rather than listen to mine. But like I said, if you need something, just let me know. It's not every day a stranger comes along and helps us out the way you did. Maybe later. Let me know if you change your mind. I'm new here. Did you have anything you wanted me to do? Yeah, let me show you. Okay. Okay. Look alive. Go check that out. Crops been growing pretty good lately. Not many doctors around these days. You should let me take a look at you. Yeah, take a look at me, Doc. Now, go over your symptoms for me, one at a time. Got roughed up. I've seen worse. Better stitch you up before infection sets in, though. All done. Any other complaints? Actually, never mind, Doc. On your way, then. <laughs> 